Okay, hello children. Um, it's Mrs Hall again. We are going to continue with our work on phase four today. But first of all, we're going to do our revisit. So I thought we're going to do something that we haven't done for quite a long time. We're going to play Silly Soup. Okay, here's my soup bowl. Can you remember the rhyme? We're going to put our phase three vowel digraphs and trigraphs in our soup today. Let's see if we can remember it. We're going to make some silly soup. We're making soup that's silly. We're going to put it in the fridge and make it nice and chilly. The first one I need to add is ow. Can you see it? Ooh. Here it is. Put some ow in my soup. Well done. We're going to make some silly soup. We're making soup that's silly. We're going to put it in the fridge and make it nice and chilly. Okay. Can you see the air trigraph? Okay, air we're looking for. Ooh, here it is. Put it in my soup and give it a stir. We're going to make some silly soup. We're making it silly. We're going to put it in the fridge and make it nice and chilly. Okay, this time I want us to add er. Uh, have a look round where that er uh, grapheme. Ooh. Here it is, put it in the soup. Okay, we'll have a go at a few more. We're going to make some silly soup. We're making soup that's silly. We're going to put it in the fridge and make it nice and chilly. Right, this time we're going to add the O oh grapheme. Can you see the O? Oh. Ooh, let's have a look. Here it is, the O graphene. In it goes in our soup, give it a stir. We're going to make some silly soup. We're making soup that's silly. We're going to put it in the fridge and make it nice and chilly. I want us to add the U uh, short phoneme grapheme at the end. Okay, U. Uh, let's find it. Ooh. Here it is. This is the one that we've learned goes at the end of words. In it goes in our soup. Well done. We're going to make some silly soup. We're making soup that's silly. We're going to put it in the fridge and make it nice and chilly. Last one I want you to find today. One that we find quite tricky. Yo. Okay, can you see it? Yo. It's a trigraph. Here it is. Well done if you got that one right. We'll give our soup a stir. Let's see if we can name all the others and put them in our soup. Are you ready? Oi. Ooh or oh. I. E. R. E. O. And A. You might want to have a go at that silly soup game at home. You can try that. I'm going to put my soup in the fridge. Okay, next job, we need to look at our alphabet because yesterday, or whenever our lesson was, our last lesson, we started to look at capital letters. We're going to sing our alphabet song first and then we're going to do the next few capital letters. Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. All the letters came to T. H I J K L M N. The food was quite delicious. O P Q R S T U V and W they came to X and Y ate all the pie and Z washed up the dishes. Now I'm going to have a go at the next few capital letters. So here we go. What's the next letter in our alphabet? Here it is. It's I. Okay. Now a capital I is an easy peasy one because it's also one of our keywords. And it's just one letter. But it means when you talk about yourself, I. And it's a line down with a line on the top and the bottom. Let's have a look. What's next? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Okay, J is a line across the top and down with a tail, J. Okay, can you remember this one's letter name? 
that's right it's called a K and it's very similar we do our line down and then we go to the middle do a line up and then a line down going diagonally K okay now here we have that and its name is L here we go down and across remember to have a go at these at home okay our next letter it makes a mm phony but the letter name is M okay we go down then back to the top down up and down again there's our M it's nice and sharp and pointy this one it's not curvy like the lowercase M okay next to M is N okay it's very similar to M, nice and pointy again. We go down and then we start at the top and go down and up. N. Okay, easy peasy one next. The letter name is O. Now this one is just a bit bigger. Okay, so there's our capital O. And one more we're going to try. The next one, it makes a P phoneme, but the letter name is P. And again, it's nice and straight and tall, but this one stands on the line instead of having a tail that goes underneath the line. There we go. So we've done I, J, K, L, M, N, O and P today. Well done if you got those right. Now I've made a special game for you today to carry on with our blend work. So I've got my two friends. I've got... Bob, the alien, Bob likes to eat real words. I'm going to pop him over there. And this one is Ob. Ob likes to eat nonsense words, words that don't make sense. So Bob and Ob. Now I've got lots of words here. You might have played this on your whiteboard at school sometimes. Okay. So we're going to have a go with our words here. Now I've got some real words and some nonsense words. And we're going to see which alien we're going to feed them to. Okay. Let's have a look at our first word. We're going to segment it first. S-t-s-s-s-s-s. What does it make? That's right. Stairs. Now it's a real word, isn't it? So shall I give it to Bob or Ob? I'm going to give it to Bob. Nom, 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 nom. He's eating it all up. Okay. Let's try the next one. I think you're going to get the hang of this. Are you ready? Here's the next word. Okay. Have a good look. We're going to segment it. St. Og. Og. Can you blend it together? It makes stog. Is that a real word or a nonsense word? Hmm, I don't think that's a real word, so I'm going to give it to ob. There we go, ob. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, let's try the next one. Okay, segment it with me. Light. Flight. Flight. Okay. Flight. I think that's when you've been on an aeroplane. That's a real word, so I'm going to give it to Bob. There we go. Right. Let's try the next one. Okay. Let's segment this word. Sk off. Sk off. Makes Scoff. Is that real or nonsense? Scoff. I think it's a real word. Who am I going to give it to then? Ob or Bob? Ooh, real word. Scoff is going to Bob. There you go, Bob. He's eating it all up. Okay, let's have a look at my words. I'm going to go for Ooh, this one. Looks good. Are you ready? Segment with me. Forms, 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 forms. Hmm, 
Hmm, is it real or nonsense? Now that's a bit tricky. Shall we see if we can put it into a sentence? I don't like filling out forms. Okay, it's like a, a letter, isn't it? Forms. Now, I think it's a real word. So do I give it to Bob or Bob? Ooh, let's give it to Bob. There we go, Bob. Right, we'll try a couple more. Ooh, this one looks a bit tricky. I'm going to try you with that one. Okay, let's segment this word. Ooh, I'ms. Ooh, I'ms. Wimes. Hmm, I don't think I've heard that word before. Wimes. Is it real or nonsense? I think it's going to be a nonsense word. Goes to ob. Wimes. Doesn't make sense, does it? Okay. I've got another one here. Last one, I think, for today. Okay, here's my word. Let's have a look at it and we'll have a go at segmenting. Spain. Spain. Now I've noticed it's got a capital letter at the beginning. Mm, that could be a name or a name of a place. Let's try again. Spain makes Spain. Now we know that Spain is a real word because I bet lots of you have been to Spain. Shall I give it to Ob or Bob? Whoop, there we go. Let's give it to Bob. Okay, we'll have another go at that Ob or Bob game next time. You could maybe have a go at making that game at home and try making your own word labels to feed to Ob or Bob. Right, off they go. Now, our last job today, we've got a sentence to have a look at. Okay, here is my sentence, but look what's happened. The chopper up has been and chopped it all up. So, we're going to have a go at decoding our sentence first of all. Let's ha have a look at the words we've got. Okay, here is my first word and it's one of our adjacent consonants word and it's got a phase three grapheme in it. Let's add our phoneme buttons, okay. Ooh, a, st. Let's try and segment it. Ooh, a, st. Ooh, a, st. Makes waste. Well done if you got that at home. It's the bit round your middle, just below your tummy. Waste, okay. Now, we might spot some tricky words while we're doing this, or keyword. Let's have a look. I think these two are both keywords. Let's have a look. What's this one? Three, two, one. It's and. Well done. I know that most of you know that word already, so we'll put a circle around it. What about this one? One, two, three. Well done. It. We all know that one, I think, don't we? Let's have a look at the next part of our chopped up sentence because it makes no sense at all at the minute. Here we go. Now, I've spotted one of our phase three phonemes and graphemes. So I'm going to put a line under it. This one is z. And then we've got i, s, z, i, s, this. Wow, done. Okay, some of you might know this as a tricky word or a keyword. You might have learned it in phonics already. Oh, here we go. Another keyword. I'm going to put a circle around it while you think about what it is. It's the word is. Well done if you got that right at home. Now I've got a word for us to segment. Are you ready? We'll add our phony buttons. T. I. T. T. I. T. Tight. Well done. Okay. Let's have a look at the next one. Oh, so this one said is tight. Mm, okay. Let's have a look at this one. We'll put our phoneme buttons on here. It's a word with an adjacent consonant or a blend at the end. Are you ready? B, e, t. B, e, t. What does it make? That's right. Belt. Okay. A belt might go around your waist. Okay, and the last two parts, we've got another word with a blend at the end here. Let's add our phoneme buttons. Oh, under phase three grapheme. Uh, 
Try that again. Uh, hits. Hits. Hmm. And one more word at the end is a tricky word or a key word. Can you remember what this one is? It's my. Well done. Let's pop a circle around that one. Okay. I'm just going to recap what these words say for you and then we can try and put them in the right order. Waste. And it. This. Is tight. Belt. Hurts my. Hmm, right. Let's take them off. I think my cameraman will have to move his camera to help us to get them in the right order. Right, now we had a look at a jumbled up sentence last week and we found an easy way to remember which word goes at the beginning. Okay, can you remember how we know which word goes at the beginning? It has a capital letter. Which of these words or parts of the sentence has a capital letter? Here it is. And that word was this. Well done. So the first word is this. Now, let's think about what goes next. Hmm. Now, I know that I need a full stop at the end of my sentence. So I'm going to find the one with the full stop at the end. And I think it's this one with the word waste. So I'm gonna pop that one right over there until I need it. Okay, so we need to know what's next. This something, hmm. This, I'm gonna try this one. This and it, does that make sense? No, I don't think so. I don't think it's that one next. Let's try this one. Can you remember what this word said? B belt. Belt. Let's try that one. This belt. Does that make sense? I think it does. That sounds right to me. This belt. Right. This belt. I'm going to try this one again. Let's have a go. See if it makes sense. This belt and it. Hmm. I don't think it's that one. I don't think I'm going to put that one next. I think I'm going to try this one. Okay, can you remember what this one said? We had our keyword first, which was is, and then this word, t, I, t, tight. Let's have a try. This belt is tight. That makes sense. I'm going to keep it like that. Okay, I'm going to try the one I've tried a few times. Can you remember what this one said? And it. Okay, let's try this one. This belt is tight and it. Oh, I think that sounds right and I think we're nearly there. There's only space for one more bit. So, we'll try this one. Now we need to segment this first word again unless you can remember it. Hurts. Hurts. And our tricky word my hurts my right i'm gonna pop it in there okay and let's remind ourselves oh let's check it so far actually this belt is tight and it hurts my and the last word waste was waste let's do have one more try read it with me this belt is tight and it hurts my waist and our full stop is at the end well done for helping me get those in the right order maybe you can have a go writing that sentence at home thank you for listening stay safe bye